Welcome back to the channel, hope everybody is doing well and in today's video we're back on with a bit of testing of the torque wrenches that I own. This time it's the turn of the insulated torque wrenches. Uh, the first two that you see here are from Knipex and then I have another two from Laser Tools. Uh, this small one at the front, if you can get the camera to focus potentially, oh, I might not like the light. Um, this is a 5 to 25 newton meter torque wrench and the longer one at the back here is 5 to 50 newton meters. I'm not sure how well that can be seen. According to the certificates from Knipex, both of those have a 6% tolerance to them. Uh, the smaller one is the younger of the two wrenches. I purchased that one back in November of 2019. The larger one behind is actually second hand to me, uh, probably around about 10 years old, but I don't have the same amount of information on that one as I do on the one that I purchased brand new. Now, it does give me a little bit of a problem because whilst the Ghidorah Dremo test can measure newton meters, this particular one can only measure from 9 to 320. So I'm not sure how accurate it will be down at the bottom end. I'll have to set the torque wrenches to at least 10 uh, to get them to register correctly. Uh, these two wrenches also operate a little bit strangely. They are quite hard to see that they've clicked over. It's more of a feel rather than hearing an actual click. But we'll do some tests and we'll see how we get on. As before, I'll do 10 tests overall, but I'll only record three or four of them to give you an idea of what it is. So we'll just try 10 newton meters with each one to give you a feel of an idea of how they work. Uh, hopefully you can see that that operates and the larger one is exactly the same. So as I say, you don't really hear a click when you utilize these wrenches, uh, it's more of a feel, but I do find them quite easy to over talk in all honesty. Uh, so what I'll do now is just reposition the camera again and we'll get onto the actual screen of the Dremo test. Okay, with our short torque wrench and we're on 10 Newton meters. So we'll go up to 17.5 and see how we get on. And we'll go up to finally the 25. Okay, so reading a little bit high, but not too bad overall. We'll wind him back. And we'll move on to the larger torque wrench. So again, this is 10 Newton meters to start with. So now we'll move it halfway to 25 newton meters. Okay, so finally we'll wind this all the way up to 50 newton meters and we'll see how well we do with that one. So again, a little bit low, but it is consistent. Okay, so that's those ones there done. We'll move on to the laser torque wrenches. Okay, so these are my two laser torque wrenches. They are in actual fact both the same, because I managed to actually break one. And we'll see how well I can get pictures up of it on the... Uh, screen if it will 
Oh yeah, you can, uh, hopefully you can see that. There's actually a crack down the case in here, and it's also started cracking down there as well. Uh, not sure why that happened. Uh, this is a very, very old one again. Again, it was actually second hand to me. Um, this is from 2015. This is the new version of, of the wrench here. And uh, this one is a lot younger. When I look at the certificate, I will tell you. So the new one is from 2020, February 2020, that one. Um, slight difference with the laser tools. Is, these are actually both rebrands anyway. Um, they are from... Matataka Toyo uh, rather than laser itself. They come in a blow molded case that is rebranded uh, but they don't actually rebrand at all. Uh, unlike that the Nipex ones come in these like little sleeve containers um, so this is the better storage option I guess if you feel like it but I do keep the torque wrenches in my tool bag anyway so storage is not quite as big a concern for me. Okay so we'll reset the camera again and we will see how well these ones do. Uh, so unlike the Knipex torque wrenches you do see a very clear operation with these ones. Uh, we'll do the new one first. Not sure how well you can tell. We are set to 10 Newton meters on this one as well. And we'll give it a go. Okay so we'll move him to 17 and a half. Same. Uh, these two are the same as the smaller one. They are 5 to 25 Newton meters. So that should hopefully give you the 17 there and you get the 0.5 from the dial on there. And we'll go again. And finally we'll move up to full whack, which is 25 Newton meters. So yeah, that's that one. It seems to read a little bit high. Um, just for a few little giggles, we'll try the uh, damaged torque wrench. Again, initial setting is 10 newton meters. We're on the zero on there, and we'll give her a go. And wind it up to 17.5. Twenty-five newton meters on the zero mark on the end dial. Yeah, it just seems to read in a little bit out, doesn't it? Not too bad despite its cracks. So hopefully you've seen the tables popping up as we went along which are the results for each of the wrenches as individuals. The results speak for themselves really. The two Knipex wrenches are by far the most accurate. Um, the newer one, the 25 newton meter wrench, um, nothing wrong with that at all. That's all within 100% although some of the readings did get close to the tolerance values. Uh, the 50 newton meter wrench, uh, second one up here, that's got one reading out, the very last reading on the 50 newton meter. Having said that, all the values recorded at the 50 newton meter setting were very low and edging towards the tolerance, uh, with that last one just going out of spec. But other than that, it seems to be okay. And then we get to the two laser torque wrenches at the back there. Um, let's deal with the one right at the back here, the one that's got the cracked case on it. It's fair enough to find that there's something wrong with that. This uh, one little fellow here that's uh, brand new, or 
two years old I should say I don't know I don't know what to say really it's a, a surprisingly poor performance from it um, also bearing in mind that this the, these are all rated 6% tolerance whereas generally speaking these micrometer wrenches will be 4% tolerance so we're already lacking a little bit I've put this table up here that's a summary of the readings that have been taken shows the actual average so you can determine the overall tolerance of the wrench and then the spread across sets of readings that were made as well and it follows formally doesn't it with uh, the two Knipex wrenches having much lower spread and everything on average being in tolerance compared to the two torque wrenches from Laser. So a bit of a disappointment really as I said I do struggle with this wrench and feeling when it makes the actual torque value which is why I purchased the original Laser torque wrench and then renewed it once that broke. Now I do have a 3 8 drive digital torque adapter so I can look to see if I can set that up and I may be able to correlate the readings from that with the readings from the Dremo test and see how the laser torque wrench performs against that. I could also dismantle the old cracked laser torque wrench as that's not any use anymore so I could perhaps take a look inside it and see if there's any clues there as to the operation of the torque wrench and whether it can be calibrated and what may be wrong with the new one. They're just a couple of ideas I have of being able to progress this a little bit further. But that'll be the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again in the next one.